So I am getting ready to work on a project here. I've had sitting around forever and ever and ever. I'm going to frame my Christmas craftably painting. Yeah, it's been a while. So I got a frame. This frame is larger than the painting is. So the painting will be, will be able to fit in here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of poster board. I have two. I'm going to have to um, kind of do some taping, cutting and taping to make this the exact size to go inside this frame. All right. I'm going to cut it apart. I'm going to tape it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the paper here and I'm going to make the poster board fit the size of the paper. Then I'm going to cover it. I'll show you how I'm going to do that when I get that done. But let me get this undone, get this paper out of here and get this poster board cut and taped to fit this sheet of paper in here. And then I'll show you what we're going to do from there. So as you can see, I have pieced together my poster board. I needed to put some extra here and a little bit on the edge over here. And this piece of poster board now fits in my frame perfectly. I tested it to make sure. I had to trim it just a little bit, but now it fits. Next step is I'm going to cover it with fabric. Let me get that fabric. I think I need to iron it. So I'm gonna iron it first. You don't have to watch me iron it. Um, and then I'll show you the fabric and we're gonna cover the poster board. That's the next step. All right, this phase is done. So I've got my poster board. I did put a picture in of, you know, just, I have a little extra overhang. I have just folded it over, mitered my corners, and all I've done is taped it. I've taped it all the way around to just tape this fabric on, and that's going to be uh, plenty to hold it in place. So now, when I flip this over, here is my pretty blue background. There's a couple wrinkles in the middle, but that's not going to matter because most of this is going to be covered with the painting. So now I'm going to get the painting out and I'm just going to glue it down. I'm going to use a whole bunch of glue all over the back of the painting and I'm gluing it down to this fabric. I'll show you that next. So I have placed my painting on the poster board covered with fabric and I just eyeballed it at first, but then I took my little tape measure here and I just kind of measured, you know, each edge to make sure it was even all the way around. And now I'm not going to move it again. So I'm going to roll this back. So I'm going to roll it back like this. And I'm going to put a bunch of glue on the back right here. And then I'm just going to roll it back up and it should be right in place where it needs to be. Then I'll do the opposite on this end. And then I'll roll it. I'll show you that in a little bit. But before I do that, let me show you some of the glues I like to use. Um, I've had this glue for a long time since I taught, you know, elementary school. This actually works really good. It's just Elmer's Craft Bond. It works great for this. It, um, it's a strong, wet tack. It will dry clear. It doesn't run. I really like this glue a lot. I have several bottles of this, so I use it quite often. And then you could also use this Aileen's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. Same kind of, uh, you know, glue as that really, except this one comes out clear, that one comes out, you know, the white, but they'll do the same thing. Either one will work perfect for this. Pick a glue you like, it just, you know, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. Um, and I'm gonna glue this down and um, show you the next part. And there it is all glued on and back into the frame with this nice blue border around the outside. Um, honestly, one of the hardest things about this whole thing for me is picking the background color. <laughs> I mean, it, that's the hardest choice. I had a pink, I had a yellow, I had a blue, and I was like, okay. I asked like five people, you know, anyhow. I love it. I love how it turned out. Um, it's an easy way to frame things, find a frame that's larger than your painting and just mount it on top of a backing like this. What do you think? I love it. My craftably Christmas painting. I just love it so much. Um, I, you did not get to see me cutting the edge off the painting, but I mean, it's a square drill. I just cut right up to the edge as close as I can. And I think it looks great. What do you think? 
So there's a little framing idea for you. And I'm happy to have this one done. Like I said, it's been sitting around for months and now it's ready. I can display it at Christmas time. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you might try this method. It's pretty easy. And if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, let me know, ask me if you have any questions. All right. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I will talk to you soon. Bye.